Hello, 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 hello. It's Friday, don't you know? Hello, hello, hello. I've got new stuff to show. Ah! <laughs> oh, clearly, um, I am not an ad hoc songwriter. Not one of my talents. Uh, but that wasn't terrible. So, hi guys, welcome to our Friday lunch chat. I can't believe it's Friday already. I feel like I just had a chat with you guys like yesterday. Didn't apparently, but um, welcome. And I do have some fun things I want to show you today. So I'm excited for that. Hopefully everything works better this time and I don't freeze. Hi, Patty. Hi, Jen. Jen got to come out and visit us. It was so much fun. Um, yeah. Hope you all have been having a good week. I have. It's not even 70 degrees here. Look, I'm in a jean jacket. It's amazing. I want it to be fall so bad. I know it's still August. I know we're going to have more heat eventually, but it's really nice right now. And I'm just going to soak it up. Take it for what it is. Hello. 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 Hello, Heidi. Happy belated birthday. Um, hi, Lee, Julia, Jenny, Shannon, Christy. Did I already say hi, Heather? <laughs> hi, Sarah. Um, TGIF, right? Yes. Okay. So I'm just going to jump right into it. First off, I wanted to show you guys, I know we already talked about the snowflake yarn and the great hat that you can do uh, with one to two balls of the snowflake, but I brought it back in to show, well, I didn't bring the yarn back in, but I brought the, the hats back in because we made one in every color. We just had to. It was just it's too silly not to. So I want to show them to you all because they're so darn cute. And we did have Kara make us the pom-poms because she is the pom-pom queen. Thank you, Kara. But they are so adorable in all their glory. Look at, look at all the pom-poms. <laughs> Aren't those beautiful pom-poms? I can see some fluff. Let's grab that. Okay. These are, aren't these amazing? Don't they look totally profesh? But how cute. Look, look at all these guys. You guys, this is the gift hat this year. If you need to churn out some Christmas gifts, some holiday gifts, this is it. And it actually only takes one ball. The pattern's written for two balls, but that is entirely to do the second ball with, to make the pom-pom with the second ball. So if you wanted to just attach your own pom-pom or a, um, like a toft alpaca pom-pom or something, you could do that easily and just do one ball, but seriously, how fun. And not only that, this stuff is so squishy soft, so, so soft, um, alpaca cotton blend. So really, really fun. Great great gift for this season and one in every color here on display at not another hat so that's that's the snowflake i just had to show you guys so we do have a brand new yarn in stock and it is lovely this is one of those yarns i ordered sight unseen and that's kind of how some of this stuff has to happen these days because we don't have a trade association anymore. So we don't have market where we would go and all the vendors would display everything they've got in the queue for fall and we would all make our orders. We don't have that. I mean, this is nothing to do with COVID. This is just our trade association kind of fell apart. Um, and then COVID compounds everything because our sales reps can't really get out and travel all over and show us everything. So, um, this particular yarn is from Universal. It's actually from Fibra Natura. And um, boy, this was a surprise to get out of the box. Like I expected it to be a good yarn. I mean, I wouldn't have ordered it if I didn't, but it is primo. This is Donina. D-O-N-N-I-N-A. I brought in three colors to show you guys today. We have got this brilliant fuchsia, pink, magenta, silver and gray classics, but don't they look good together? Um, this is ultra fine Merino and it's a sport weight. So we, we kind of have this hole in our sport weight area where we had a lot of beautiful sport weight yarn, a lot of it hand dyed or kind of really high end, but not a lot of just like super wash Merino, good for baby stuff, you know, kind of that, that little niche. And that's why I brought this in. So this stuff is 180 yards to 50 grams. 
a hundred percent extra fine merino super wash. So it is machine wash, gentle, dry, dry flat. And it came in a great, beautiful range of colors. Um, the only thing is we got the, the white was back ordered. So we don't have that natural kind of like, I think it's called vanilla. That's the only one. Um, but boy, this stuff, it, this feels like a luxury yarn. Like, I don't know. I don't know what else I'm trying to compare it to. I picked up these balls and I was like, oh, this, this stuff, <laughs> this is nice. This feels good. Uh, I've already forgotten how much it is to skein. 10? I think it's 10. I think it's $10. Okay. Somebody click on that link that Julia just plopped in there. I'm, <laughs> I've already forgotten. I could go look myself. It's $10. $10. For 180 yards of extra fine merino. So really great. There's there's so many baby patterns in sport weight. Um, you know, because there's been all those over the years, all those patterns on the um, I mean, excuse me, yarns on the market like the um the Debbie Bliss Baby Cash Merino, uh UU, that's a merino sport. So there's a lot of great patterns out there for it. And um, so lots you could do with baby stuff, but I wanted to show you guys a hat today that uh that universal has that's a free pattern so i'm going to open that up here so this is called the vinia hat and it's a cute little color work hat with a folded brim and it takes one ball each of two colors optional you can put the pom-pom on or not and um isn't that super cute like a fun little two color hat done on a size four i think it's really really here let's look at another picture really adorable and it would just be stunning. Actually, I would love to do that hat in this one. The charcoal and the magenta. I think that would be really nice. So, um, Jen, it would work for fireworks. Yes. Didn't even dawn on me yet. I haven't even gotten that. Jill just literally got it out this morning. It would work great for fireworks. Ooh, it would be so squishy, beautiful in the fireworks. Yeah. Um, FYI on the fireworks, the yardage did change quite a bit from um, from the test pattern to publication. It now says 1,100-ish yards. I used about 900 and I made the full shawl. I didn't take any rows out or anything like that. So I did three skeins of my main color, two skeins of my contrast color. But if you look at what my leftovers are, it came out to about 900 yards. So just those of you who already may have bought some yarn to do the fireworks or do a two color fireworks, just make sure you take a look at that um, in the final version of the pattern that was published this week, that is um, a little bit more yardage than than the original stated. So you might need a little bit more. It kind of just depends, especially if you're doing the two color, it depends on where you break into your second color. But just, I wanted to make sure everybody knew about that. So um, yeah, hi, Nydia. That, this, um, this hat pattern is just adorable. I think I might have to do one of those. I think it'd be really cute. Okay, I'm gonna close that. Um, and now let's talk about why you're all really here, which is the newest Cardi Bell bags. <laughs> right? She has a brand new style named after another sister. So we had the Bonnie bucket that's named after a sister. And this is the Patty tote. So this cute, cute bag is 50. I got to say, unfortunately, we're down to five. <laughs> I did get these on Tuesday night, so they did have a chance to get created. But this is a really nice size tote. Look, I have to weigh all, all the way out here to show it to you. <laughs> so it's got a full lining. This one happens to be bright pink. It's got the cutest little zipper pocket in the front because Jill said she would need a pocket for her keys if there was a tote like this. And then look at the gusset on this. This is actually nine by six, this gusset. So if you get this bag pushed all the way open, it's big. Wait, wait, there we go. Really big. Good size. You could stuff a lot in there. Big sweater project. So this, when it's fully opened with the gussets, it's about 11 inches tall. The, the, um, the handles are nine inches and, um, yeah. The, so up at the top here, this is 14 inches across just to kind of give you an idea. Um, so beautiful, beautiful, amazing tote. And of course, yeah, a little zipper pocket. We've got that little contrast lining in the zipper pocket too. So we've got this one with the, um, the knitting language. This one, I love this. This is, I call this vintage floral. Um, but I just love 
the fabric on this one. And on the inside, you have gold polka dots. And um, and then autumn, which matches. There's one bonnie bucket left in this colorway. So you could get a bonnie bucket and this bag and have matching with this beautiful kind of gold and pink inside. Hmm. Kind of want that. <laughs> This one is so beautiful. I hope the color comes through. These aren't orange. These are copper. They're metallic. Um, I'm not sure if you guys are going to be able to get that through the, the, the video here. But yeah, so this is like a copper metallic yarn ball print here. Uh, I think this one's called Natural Yarn Balls. And it's got a cute um, kind of black and white with the little gold, gold, black, white, inside and then last but not least is um this yarn ball fabric right here which is so fun with gold and turquoise and gray and then it's got this really cute turquoise interior so have at it folks i'm sure they won't be around for long i happen to know she's working on another a new experimental thing and i'm so excited about it but i'm not gonna tell you what it is right now um okay let's see Jen, she doesn't really do special orders. Um, <laughs> we get this, we get this a lot. So here's the deal. Kara is a genius and she is an artist. And so she makes what speaks to her creatively. And so we never order anything. We don't place an order and say, we want this. She makes what is, you know, what she is feeling like making at this time. And then that's what she brings to us and we take it happily. So that's how come there's um, this kind of like, unknown um slight urgency about stuff when we get it is because we just never know what's coming and it's always a surprise and it's always like oh my gosh look what we have so occasionally um people have said like oh i would love more of this bag or i haven't seen this one in a really long time is she going to make this style again we do pass that information on to, to kara and so sometimes um you know then that she kind of gets that in the little mental cue and so she tries to accommodate that so not really special orders, but more just like, are we going to have any more of this style again? Or I really loved this style in the knitting fabrics. Can we do any more of those? So that was kind of a half answer to your question. <laughs> um, so, okay. I have a picture. Oh, I bet I could bring it up on the screen. Um, I could show you where I started. I see someone was asking about where I started the second yarn. So let me see if I can get to this picture really quick. Like, and um, you'll be able to see, I did it in the same place Erica did. And, um, oh, here, yeah. Let's see, is that the, okay. Let me open this picture and then I just need to make sure, can I zoom? Yes, I can. Okay, let's screen share this, screen the picture and show. Okay. Let's make that the focus. There we go. Okay. Now you can see, um, so there is a feather and fan section after the fireworks. And I, I don't know if you guys can see my mouse pointer or not. Um, and then there's a stockinette section, another feather and fan. And that's when I changed. So I changed right before this second stockinette section. And I changed in the little special stitch row um, that makes the little, uh, bobble dots. So, because Erica did that and I loved Erica's, I loved how it showed the second color in these little dots here. So then, um, I went through this stockinette section in my second color, and this is where I really ate the yarn and that why I ended up needing another skein of my second color. And then you have one final, um, feather and fan section. And then I actually, because I still had a, like a, I don't know, a third or a half of a ball of my orange. I thought it would be fun to do the last dot section with the orange and kind of give the reverse effect of where I switched colors. So, um, so, and then it's just got the end. So that kind of gives you an idea of where I switched. Um, I think with the way that this yardage is in these balls, because they're two ounce balls, which is a little bit of an unusual put up that I would not have been able, I would have had to switch mid stockinette. I wouldn't have had enough to do more than a, I don't know, five rows of stockinette with what I had left in the orange. So that was a good point for me to break. Um, it would have either been a full another orange skein to get through the stockinette or do what I did, which is switch at the stockinette and then need a second sweet tea skein. So 
that gives you the lowdown. But I think there's because of the way, like, see, there's two little um, sections of feather and fan in each feather and fan chunk, and they're separated by a dot. You could also switch right there. Um, so there's a lot of different places, depending on like, if you've got like the Miss Bab skeins, those are really big yardage skeins. So, you know, there's, there's some different options. So, um, let's see. <laughs> Kim, Kim says she had to leave the country to get away from our temptation as if that's ever stopped you before. <laughs> You're just in Mexico. You're not on another planet. Um, so I hope I answered that well. Let's see. Oh, sorry, Christy. I'm really, I do apologize. I do mean it. I, I'm sorry for showing you bags. Um, yeah. Oh, thank you. Julia shared the link to Erica. So you can also see where Erica um, switched colors for hers. Um, this, I'm not kidding that this is a really, really fun knit. Like really fun. I love that it switched it from fireworks into the feather and fan. Um, so that uh i'm gonna stop i'm gonna go ahead and stop sharing here um anyways i highly recommend it i know that there's the team cowl team shawl and the cowl is beautiful but also i highly encourage you to make the shawl because i think it is really fun and it's just a great pattern so um i cannot wait until it's cool enough to wear it Okay. God, I feel like there was something else I needed. Oh, yes, there is. One one last little tidbit before I guys let you all go for the weekend. Um, I feel like a teacher excusing my class for the weekend. Before I let you go, students, um, <laughs> the have a ball fall crawl is back. So if you weren't around for that fun last year, I'll give you a quick rundown. It's 36 shops participating in a virtual online yarn crawl. And we all came together last year and we created this for ourselves because of COVID. And it was such a success that six of the shop owners that were involved kind of formed a little bit, a little like organization, a little planning group. And then they did the, all of the work this year. So, um, and I am lucky enough that I got, I am getting to participate again. So Mark your calendars. My 45 minute time slot is on Saturday, September 18th at 11 a.m. Pacific, 11 a.m. Pacific. The um, Have a Ball Fall Crawl website has the schedule and I believe all times are listed in Eastern on that website. So just keep that in mind for those of you on the West Coast. Eastern times are listed on the website, so you got to make your adjustments if you're in other time zones. And so I will be the first weekend. It'll run two weekends where they're going to do six shops each day um, for Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and then Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So I'm the first weekend, Saturday at 11 a.m. Pacific. And I have already started putting together awesomeness for you guys. I'm so excited. We have some brand new yarn from a new, not, not new dyer, but dyer we don't currently carry and a brand new couple brand new projects being worked up right now. And we're just, we're going to have, yeah, it was the same as the, um, I, it's the same weekend as the knit camp retreat. Yep. Yeah. That, yeah, it's too, it's too bad. It was kind of like that actually, um, last year as well, because, um, the I remember I had to do my class and the fall crawl like within a couple of days of each other. So you guys might be able to break away just for a little while, but they also put all the replays are all available. All of the bundles are like the special things that that we offer. They will be on our website under a special collection page from Friday of the fall crawl weekend all the way through the second weekend of the crawl. So um, if you don't catch it live, you can watch the replay. It, they will all be available via the um, both the website and the Facebook group. And then you can also um, actually I'll be publishing the replay as well. And then you'll also just be able to see all of the collection of stuff um, on our website. So not too big of a deal if you're not going to be um, able to catch it live that day. So anywho, mark your calendars. It's going to be a lot of fun. Um, all right. That's all I got for you guys. I hope you have a lovely weekend and you get a little yarny goodness time. And I really have this. No, wait, I can't talk about that yet. <laughs> Next week. I have something really fun for you next week. So make sure you turn in on Tuesday. Um, 
I just stockpile stuff you hear you guys. I stockpile it. And if I gave it to you all at once, we'd have like a two hour lunch chat. And then I'd have nothing to talk about for like the next four chats. And then it would repeat. So I got to hold it back. I got to parse it out. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I don't overburden you guys and make you fall asleep. Okay. I will talk to you guys next week. Have a great weekend. Bye.